So Andy, I understand that Dynamics Nav 2018 has an interesting new feature called User Tasks. Can you tell me more about that please? Yes, of course George. I have uh, Nav 2018 open on my screen at the moment and if I go into the departments, IT administration, application setup and then users, I can see that we've got a new option here called user tasks. If I click on that, it gives me a list of the current tasks that have been generated. Um, at the moment we have none, so I'm going to go through the process today of creating a user task that will recur on a monthly basis to assign to various users. Uh, the concept being that they need to get a list of sales invoices from the previous month and create a management pack offline, say in Excel or something like that. So my first step is to create a new task and give the task a subject name. So this one will be called monthly invoices and I, optionally I can give this a description as well. So um, we'll call it update the management pack with sales invoices last month. Okay. I have the choice of assigning this task to a user. Um, for this demonstration I'm going to leave this blank because we can look at some of the options afterwards for the, uh, the tasks that have been created into the future. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. The due date I'm also going to leave blank but you can put this in if you wish to. You can just use the calendar to set a due date on there. The percent complete, I'm going to leave this as zero, but throughout the life of each task, the user can update this with the amount of progress that they have completed to date. Um, effectively, when it gets to 100%, the task is closed and completed. Um, my start date, I want this to start on the 1st of March 2018. And optionally, I can set a time here as well if I wish. So um, if you leave it at zero, it, um, it effectively is midnight. So I'm not too bothered about what time the user completes this. So I'm not going to give it an actual time. And I can set a priority. This is going to be low, normal, or high. Um, in my case, I want it to be a high priority because the management pack is important to the board. And the user completed date is left blank obviously for this time. I can link a task to either a page, a list page in NAV or to a report. This allows the user to press the go to task item button on the task which you can see here at the top. By clicking on that button it will link through to the report or the list page that I've assigned in this um, section here. So I'm going to link to a page in this case because I want to pull up the list of posted sales invoices. It helps the user to go straight to this part of the system when they're picking up this task. In my case it's uh, posted sales invoices page 143. Okay. So optionally I can set a recurrence in my case I want this to happen on the first of every month and I want to set 12 occurrences moving forward into the future. So I'm going to click on the recurrence button here and I need to fill in some information. So the first recurring date I want to be the 1st of March 18 so I'll enter that date. The recurrence is the frequency. In my case I want it to occur on the first of every month I want them to pick up the invoices for the previous month. So I'm going to set a, a date formula in here of calendar month plus one day. That will give me the first of every month. And the number of occurrences will be 12. So I want this to happen for the next 12 months. Press OK. When I filled in all of the information, I can press the OK button. This will create either one task or the number of occurrences depending on how I filled in the form. So now I can see that I've got a recurring task moving forward for every month 
in the next year. At the moment, the task isn't assigned to anyone. Um, I left that optionally blank in the report, so I can choose who's going to do this on each month. Now, I, I'm going to assign this to my colleague George for the March task. So I'm going to open up this particular occurrence, edit it, and click on the Assist button and find George from the list. You can only assign these to NAV users, not every user within the company. If they're not a NAV user, you have to set them up first. Press OK. That task is now assigned to George. I can see that on the list. If I go to George's NAV login, I'll just drag that in from another screen and go to his home page. Make this a little bit bigger so we can see everything. I can see that he has one pending task that's been assigned to him. If I click on this icon, this Q, it will give me the list of tasks that are assigned for this user. And if I select the task from the list and press the go to task item button on the ribbon, it will open up the sales invoice list page. And from this, the user can then select the invoices for the previous month and process th those through to the management pack as required. If I edit the task, I can update it with progress. So in this case, let's assume George has done his job and it can mark the percentage as 100% to say that he's done that. Press OK. And now you can see that the task is no longer pending in the list. And if I go back to his role center, the number of pending tasks is now through to zero. So he's completed his work for this month. So going back to my login, I can now see that that task is 100% complete. Um, optionally, I can set the next month through to myself or to any other NAV user. The permissions for the tasks are set in the basic permission set. So anyone that is a NAV user can create tasks and update those tasks to show the progress that they've made. This enables not only managers to assign tasks to users, but also for users to assign their own tasks to remind them that they have a job to do on a certain date. 